Hello everybody, today we're doing a full gameplay and I think we're going to be playing Geb, um, it seems like. And uh, Geb's very fun in Duel, he's... Mm, let's see, how do we describe Geb? Alright, so his, all of his damage relies on his auto attack cancels I'd say. Probably the most important thing about him. I used to not, when I actually made Geb Duel, I actually didn't really do God Attack Cancels, and I was only in gold when I made it. And I thought he was really bad in Duel, and he is really bad, but now I can play him at, you know, Platinum Diamond rank and do pretty okay with him. Um, but it's all because of those auto attack Cancels. You, you actually, there's actually points where it's like, I can kill them, and if I didn't do any auto attacks, you'd, they'd still be at like half health. So, very important thing. Um, we'll, 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 I'll show you in game. Um, but a lot of the like the Geb combo is basically alt base attack, base attack, and you keep base attacking until the stun is running out. Then once the stun runs out, you use your two. Then once they uh, hit the ground, you use your one. And you're just using auto attacks between everything. But you don't want to do just alt auto two, you know, right away. You want to alt auto auto wait for the stun to run out. And that's the important thing I want to show. Oh, Barona. Ooh, she has a disarm. All right, that'll be fine. Maybe. <laughs> I think I, I can cleanse the disarm, which is good. Which, I mean, I don't know if I want to cleanse the disarm or, you know, prevent damage. Coppers running around. All right. Let's go. So I like to start uh, either tier two Bancrofts sometimes, or I'll go uh, mages Bancrofts. And uh, I don't actually know which one's better all the time. I Bracer seems to be really good though, so I'm gonna go Bracer. Hello, Jeff, Jeff. Tim's the name. And then the, the two, it does more damage the closer you are. So it's pretty good to level up, but look how much damage the one does, but it only does that much damage if you fully charge with your one. So if you want better clear and you don't think they're going to block you, I'd level up the one. But most of the time, your opponent's going to block you. And against melees, two is almost always better to level up. Um, Gap's clear is pretty okay, but if they block the one, kind of not good. It's not too bad, though, because then you do good damage to them, you know? You want to... Whoops. Okay, good. She didn't block it. You want to hide behind that wall. That way you could charge up the one. Ideally, you want to do that so that you catch the entire wave and the melees run towards you. That way you can hit them all with your two. You, I actually would have got, got cleared a lot faster if I had done that. Fortunately, she has, she's going to have a lot more damage than me. She went double chalice also, which is bad for me. But, you know, uh, I don't think she's going to let me do this again, but let's see. Yeah, looks like she was trying to get in the way there. But no, no worries. We still clear. We just clear slower, you know? Which is fine. It's all good. Use the shield to box a little bit. And there's two. Oh, she's kind of in trouble. She has bracer. I'll use my bracer as well. Maybe I used it too early, though. Yeah, I did use it too early. Ah, uh, I thought I could survive one more auto. I used it too early. That's okay. She is going to get red buff. Hmm. That's close, but... I'd use my bracer badly. Oh, also, if you're leaving base and you want to take blue buff, don't use your one until you get up to about there. That way you can actually hit the, the blue buff with your one. Otherwise, you just leave base, but you don't can't actually hit the blue buff with your one. It's a little thing I notice. Of course, you don't get the mana back, but sometimes the damage is more worth it. And plus, if you're going for blue buff, you know, you're going to have plenty of mana, which is absolutely fine. I just did a great job in the skin, by the way. Great, great job. Yeah, so we're only behind a little bit. It's funny that people say gardens are good in the early game, and I always lose the early game. It's always a late game I, will, I come back and win. I don't know why. I guess that's just my play style. I feel like this is a winnable matchup. So like late game it'll kind of be even but uh whoops oh bad stuff i'm gonna level up my three a little bit more because she does a lot of poke 
Late game, I feel like we both got this. It depends on how she builds. If she goes full on auto attack, I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have a hard time. If she goes a little bit like half and half, won't be too bad. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Badly played. I mean, badly played. Hmm. I didn't want to ult, you know, because I didn't feel like I should kill, kill her, and I felt like it would have been useless. At the same time, I didn't want to run, run away. I don't know. I just kind of wanted her to push a little bit more, and uh, she did push a little bit more, but eh, just mistakes. Of course, I don't play uh, Gab as much as uh, other Guardians that play. But I do think he's a little bit better than Ares, a little bit better than uh, Kepri, better than uh, what other bad Guardians are there. That he's better than Kepri, Terra, better than Ares. Geb's late game is pretty good, but not fantastic. Mm. Without my Bancrofts up, I can't really fight her yet. Looks like she's going for an early kin size or executioner, possibly. Okay, luckily my blue buff is down, so she can't take that. Which is good for me. Okay, let's back. Yeah, so Geb's all attack answers are extremely strong. And I'm against a warrior, I will go uh, auto attack. Which is, which, just one auto attack item. I'm going to go demonic. Demonic is pretty good on Geb. Just one, against melees especially. If she was like a mage or something, which would be bad for me, I'd go obsidian. I love up that shield. You see that it felt like she did love poke, but because I have my shield up, I'm actually pretty much full health and she has less health than me. I also use my ult to cancel her too. So like actually here, she's pretty low. I can maybe kill her. No, she's healing. Dang it. She was a quarter health and then she you know, healed it all up. She's just trying to heal up all of her health. Oh, I thought I could cancel that. Ooh, I'm gonna miss out on the minion clear. Yeah, unfortunate for me. Oh, that's really bad. I thought I could cancel her hammer. Still do have Bancroft though, so I'm gonna stay. Did I take that? I got it, nice. That's very good for me. I don't think I can pick it up though. I think that'd be too dangerous. Okay, your Hunter's Blessing evolves, which is pretty early for this Hunter's Blessing to evolve. I don't know when it usually does, but that feels pretty early. Because Mage's Blessing, I still have mana. Okay, we both have our Bracers up. Hmm. Let's see if I can take this. Probably not. I think it's going to despawn. Mm, please? No! Uh oh. Okay, hang on. I got this. I got this. No, I don't. Okay, yes, I do. Okay. I didn't have enough mana. I was, I was, I was contemplating uh, bracering to get my mana back so I could use my two. But I figured it'd be better to wait. And what's really nice is that I got her bracer out of it, whereas I wouldn't have if I actually had the mana. Yeah, but Geb's two does a lot of damage when you have Bancroft's passive up, especially close range. I didn't really get to do any auto attack cancels there because uh, I was disarmed and stuff. Plus, I didn't really have my mana for abilities. Okay. Yeah, I, I just find it so strange that with Guardians, which are good in the early game, I lose the early game and then I come back. Seems like you just I just need a lot of core items online. Yeah, I usually level up my shield to like two or three, and then I start leveling up to one. I don't know. I think I might keep leveling it against Blona though. Because like here, I can box her a little bit. And I don't take much damage. Whereas normally I would. Uh oh. Okay. Try and poke her as much as possible. Ah, I'm not going to chase that. 
My escape would be down and it'd be all the way over there and then she'd ult me. Probably would die. Oh. Did not realize she was backing. Okay. What's this buff? Is this buff up? No, it's not. Yeah, but Geb's one does more damage the longer it's charged. Once you get the CC immunity, I think it's at 100%. Pretty sure. I think I have Geb. Do I have him diamond or do I have him rank like seven? I don't know. I'd have to check when we were loading in. <laughs> like I said, I can use my ult to cancel her hammer, which could actually help a lot. Like I might do it here. Do you see how I did that? There we go. That was what I was talking about. So I ulted, base tack, base tack, base tack. And then right before the stun runs out, I knock her up. So she still can't do anything. She's stunned this entire time. Diminishing returns don't affect knock up. So she's stunned forever. And then I hit her with the one. Ah, that's what I was, I was hoping I could get that at least once this game. Very important. I wouldn't have got, I mean, I, I had Bracer, right? But I don't know if I would have gotten that kill if I didn't, if I hadn't done that, you know? Very important. I, I should say that I learned that from uh, Shadow Q. He, had a, he has a tutorial on Gab I'll put in the description. If I remember, if I don't remember somebody, please remind me, but he has a tutorial on Gavin. That is one of the things he brings up. You know what? I might actually get cursed because she, no, I should get thorns. Thorns is better. Yeah, Shadow Q made a great Geb tutorial. And that's one of the things he, he, uh, he said is that you want to wait. You don't want to just all auto attack too. You want to do as many auto attacks as you can before you use your two again. Of course, he was doing it for support, so he was like, it's not that big of a deal, but for, for duel, big deal. Yeah, and then we just re released Ganesh duel, and I'm glad, thank you guys, like seriously, thank you guys so much for the feedback on that video. I worked really hard on it, and I'm glad everyone liked it. Um, it looks like, based on the poll I put on, uh, I had the patrons and uh, Twitch subs vote on the, what the next montage would be, and it was a tie. It was between Ardio and Geb. So then I posted on Twitter whether it should be Ardio or Geb, and it looks like it's going to be Ardio or Geb? I'm sorry, Ardio or Fafnir. And it looks like it's going to be Fafnir. There's only there's not that many Guardians I have left to do, and I'll probably redo them. Like with Geb, I, I wasn't using auto attacks when I made that video. It wasn't, it wasn't even nice. Too bad I missed her wave there. She really likes to focus me. Again, I could have ulted there, but I don't think she's low enough to the point where I could actually get a kill of it. She would have probably just backed. That sucks for me. That's bad. We're in like a kind of bad spot, but it's not that bad, if that makes sense. Like, we're both same health, but I, I, I need to be having a lot more health than her because she's blown up and I'm Geb. I'm gonna need anti heal because she seems to be using that scourge a lot more than most Bolonas. I need anti heal pretty bad. Which is not a problem. I could just get demonic. Demonic? Divine Ruin? Or something like that? She, yeah, she wants to fight me when I have that, that down. When I have my shield down, I mean. That's when she wants to fight me. Okay, that's a bracer. Very good for me. Kind of want her to stay. I'm going to do the same thing here. Same thing. Okay, so there she wasn't stunned as long because of diminishing returns. And that was a little bit worrisome. But I only had enough time to do one auto attack. Which is fine because she was very low. She was low enough. Seems like if your opponent's at a quarter of health or half health, that seems to be where you can kill them. But yeah, that is something I should mention. Be wary of diminishing returns because... Your ult won't stun them as long. If you don't know what diminishing returns are, it's based. To put it simple, the more you get stunned in smite, the you get stunned for less. So if you hit somebody with the mirror freeze and then hit them with the freeze again and the freeze again, the freeze is going to stun them for less and less. And if you want to get into the technicalities of it, I recommend reading the Word of Thoth, which someone wrote and it has all the secret smite mechanics that aren't anywhere you can find in game you just ha kind of have to know about them which is weird like backdoor protections although that's you can kind of tell that now because they added a sound effect to towers if you're hitting it and it has backdoor protections 
and stuff like that. Very good read. It also tells you how protections work. For example, if you have, I think it's 100 protections. If you have 100 protections and no pen, you're taking half damage. So it really shows how much penetration can help. Also, I can really fight her now that I have Demonic. A big time fighter. Yeah. Oh, nice. She went into it. Nah, she's just absorbing everything, though. Nice, I can cancel that. Look, we're gonna look for an alt kill here. But I, I really want to get her as low as possible. Oh, I did it. <laughs> what? How did that? How did that hit her? Okay. All right, I feel for you, Blona. That shouldn't have hit her. What was? All right, that seemed very strange. I need to. I need to watch that in slow motion. What happened? She jumped into the wave as it was coming out. I was gonna say I tried doing I tried getting greedy and doing two auto attacks rather than just one because of diminishing returns, and uh, <laughs> she, she almost you know I wouldn't say she could have turned it around because I had bracer and thorns up, but you know I should have just used my two because there was no way she was gonna have that out of the way. It's nice as I can cleanse her disarm. So if I'm taking her tower, you know and she disarms me, I just. Whoop. Uh-oh. 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 You know what? We're just going to clear wave and try and run away. Uh-oh. 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 She has a lot of movement speed. <laughs> Alright. We need Divine Rune as well. That Divine Rune will help us so much because of her Bracer and her Scourge, which she is using like crazy. Like, Demonic gives us movement speed, but Belona's passive just too strong for us right now. Also, I could have gotten Nemean. Like, if you look at how much damage I'm taking, yeah, maybe Nemean would be a good option, but cooldown's very good on Get because you can just use your shield, and then that makes you take, what, 300 less damage or so? I don't know. I'd, I don't know. I feel like the breastplate is still better. Although I can can get both. Like, there's no item I need right now except for Polly. Could just get Nemean instead. But Polly Poly helps us take Phoenix. But Demonic on its own already helps us take Phoenix. So that's fine. We can kill her here? Nope. Never mind. She knows we can kill her. I wonder. Yep. Hello. Hello there. <laughs> I had a feeling she was going that way. Oh wait, I have minions. I can do quite a bit of damage here. I was saving the shield auto attack cancel so I could just not take damage from the Phoenix. What's nice is you can do auto attack cancel with your one too. You just have to do it really fast. Wow, I actually got Phoenix. All right, maybe we don't need Polly. Polly would be still be nice for Titan, but. Yeah, it's so weird that I always lose the early game with Guardians, and then late game, there you go. <laughs> that was really lucky that she didn't try backing here, that instead she was running this way. And to see in her mind, running away was the safer play, but it actually ended up costing her. It's funny how Smite works like that. Yeah, let's get Polly. Polly's pretty good on Geb. So, if you were up against a mage as Geb, don't go... I wouldn't recommend Demonic. I would rather go Obsidian and Poly for sure. And it's just... Mages are so hard to deal with as Guardians. Did she have Frostbound? Why'd she have Frostbound? Alright. I'm starting to understand why she maybe got Frostbound. There we go. I could maybe auto attack her twice, but I wasn't going to risk it. After uh, that time, she almost got away. Plus, I could have just chased her down. I don't know. I hope you guys learned... I think, yeah, that's the game. I hope you guys learned something this game about Gab and Duel. Um, this was the first Gab, Gab game that I recorded today, which is pretty neato. But he is he is pretty good. He's not great, but he's better than... Uh, better than Capri and better than... 
Better than Ares, better than Terra, better than Ganesh. But, um, auto attack's very good on him. Auto attack cancels are very good with him. Oh. Oh, they're just messing around with their build. That looks like a pretty good Bologna build. The only part I would change is Hunter's Blessing. That, that doesn't even look like that bad of a build. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit more about Geb. He's not great against mage, mages. Hunters, you have to level up the shield a little bit more and a little bit faster. You might even have to skip a point or two to level up the shield. Because without the shield, you just get obliterated. Um, he's great against assassins. He's pretty good against other guardians. Although, I don't know. I don't really judge the guardian versus guardian matchups. They're not fun. <laughs> Warriors. Warriors, he's good because of demonic. But other than that, not too much. Um, but this is a this is an ideal get build in my opinion. Um, I haven't really been trying builds without Bancrofts on him just because that helps his early clear a lot, and then also his boxing with auto attacks he uh, gets the life still helps a lot. But very good game, and I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something. <laughs>